hello. We are here today with Pastor Ann and Pastor Mike um, as we've been spending some time with the hopes and fears that you all shared this last Sunday. Uh, there was a couple of themes that have risen that you'll hear more about in church on Sunday, but there were a few questions about um, pastoral credentialing and, and kind of how things bear specifically personally for Pastor Ann and Pastor Mike that I want to invite them here to share a little bit more about their hearts and, and how they got here. So I've asked them to share that with you today. I'll let you all take it away. <laughs> Go ahead. You start first, Pastor Mike. Sure. Um, well, as I, I mean, first, I just want to thank everybody uh, for for this last Sunday. It really was a, a beautiful Sunday of, of sharing uh, what God has been doing uh, here at First Covenant. And one, one of the questions that came up in terms of a fear uh, that touched me deeply uh, was your concern uh, for, for me as, as a pastor and, and what the implications are of, of taking this step. How would it impact uh, my livelihood, my credentials, and I just want to say uh, that I've been on this journey of ministry and uh, understanding of human sexuality and God's design for our lives for over 24 years. Uh, and so as we, as a community, take this step together, I want you to know that I, I take this step willingly and fearfully. Uh, we're all on a journey, and I have come to this sense that age 55, uh, that for such a time as this, I need to take this next step uh, of, of pressing into, in, into what God's love for us looks like and how we live out that love in relationship with one another. And so if that means uh, you know, putting sort of my credentials on the line, uh, my ordination on the line, um, I think that doing the right thing is never easy and sometimes doing the right thing requires making hard choices. And so this is a decision that I'm making uh, on behalf of following God uh, and being a pastor. Dan? Well said. Um, I could ditto what Pastor Mike has said, but add five more years onto my life and experience. Um, and I, I think in many ways, I would say that um, I didn't choose this journey. It chose mm -hmm. me. Yeah, I, I, truthfully, if I could run from this, I would because um, because it isn't easy. But, but I sense that I uh, just repeatedly over the last, especially the last six years, I'd say since 2015, uh, the, the, the books that I've read, the conversations that I've had, it's like God will not let me off the hook to realize that there must be something more than what I've, uh, that, that, than what I've understood about human sexuality uh, through most of my adult life. Um, and so it's, it's, to me, it's been this faithful, just following the Holy Spirit to say, this is, um, this is a matter that matters not only, obviously to me, it matters to the church, uh, it ultimately it matters to God. And um, I said, turn 60 in May, and this does seem like a, a, a pivotal birthday for me of saying, what do I want to do with the rest of my years in pastoral ministry? I want to have integrity and I want to, um, I, I want to do what I believe is right for all people. And so, you know, how can you not uh, follow what you believe God is leading you into and trust that God's going to meet us there in the, in the, the fears, in the scary moments in the middle of the night when you are wondering, you know, well, will you be ready for retirement um, because your salary may or may not be gone? But really, it's that I, I'm more excited than anything mm -hmm. because I believe God's going to lead us forward um, to be a church that doesn't doesn't agree on everything, doesn't see eye to eye, but we're, we're committed to, to being the church, um, this biblical example that we have um, received. So don't worry about us. Pray for us uh, and have courage with us yeah. to pursue what God has before us. I just want to say thank you, Pastor Ann, Pastor Mike. I want to let you all know that we have a new page on our website all about our inclusion and welcome statement. You'll find a statement there. The next steps where we do have these small group and large group gatherings throughout the metro for you to come, share your questions, meet with a handful of leadership team and inclusion writing team members. It's not a big, 
uh, scary group. They are meant to be small and intimate and a chance for you to be able to share what's on your heart and get more clarity. Um, we've got those dates and locations there, along with the timeline. As Pastor Ann said, this really has been a journey since 2015. Uh, so you'll have a broad overview of the journey, along with resources that we've received along the way there. Um, so thanks for your time, and we'll be unpacking this more as the weeks go on, starting this Sunday the 20th at 930. See you then.